how to use the freeform feature in Illustrator CC 2019 via the gradients panel. Now I'm using points in this case. There's also an option for lines. There's a gradient panel and I've got a path selected. Use the gradient tool and then you'll see linear, you've got radial and you've got freeform now. New freeform one. Now click on that and you've got options for points and lines. I'm going to go mainly concentrate on points in this. Uh, you can also change the spread and also the opacity as well. So you can see the opacity there. It just makes it uh, obviously 30% opacity, 100% as normal. So you can add additional points. Once you've added that, another point, you can change the colour. And now you can see the spread. So you can see the, the colour flowing from one colour to that. You can move it around, just select the actual point. You can add three, four, ten, fifteen points. Change the colour at any time. It's a live tool, so you can just move that around, and move it any position you want. If you drag it off, off the actual path, it will disappear. It's deleted. You can also delete via that little delete button there. Now you can do the same via the properties, there's, not, there's a line in the properties for gradient as well. Do exactly the same as here, but you can do it in the gradient panel. You can add multiple, yeah, just drag that around. Once you've actually done that, you can change the spread. Now if you make it about 70 or 80, you can actually do it interactively as well. There's a little interactive control there, so you can try turn that around. If you go to 100%, it looks a bit sharp. It makes it very, I'm not so keen on that, but I guess it's nice for a flat sort of, so sort of if you're making bevels and you want to like a flat ceiling to it, that's great. So you can make it, change that opacity. So if you've got two parts, you can see straight through it. And you can move that around still, so you can see the opacity change as you move that around. If you drag it off, it's like it disappears. So it's, that's quite a nice feature. Unfortunately, there's no blending modes or blending modes with that opacity, it's just opacity change the colour, create all kinds of super colourful designs that way. Now another thing you can do, you can actually save it to like styles, you can go to the graphic styles and create a new style and you can actually save this design. So you can like say move that black around, just there. Once you've actually come out of it and you've gone to, you can just re-edit the thing, there's an edit gradient, so you can just click on that and you can then edit the gradient anytime, any point. So click there, freeform again and you may get three, four points. Might well, just get two points to work with initially. You can, like, say, add points, go around the edges if you wish, add point there around the edge, another point around the edge. Make lots of spherical designs, all kinds of different designs using this feature. So you can make it very dark there as well. Right, again, you can change. You can see here now the spread. You can see the spread changing in the gradient panel. Makes it like very sort of sharp, sort of square-like with these number of points that have been added. And you can move it around around that point as well. Right, hope you found this of interest. Thank you very much.